somewhat, breaks free and goes for the touchdown. Jamal Lewis will have a season for the ages. Knocking on Eric Dickerson's throat. Hello, Eric, can you hear me coming? The fifth wow. man ever with 2,000. The Baltimore Ravens select Jamal Lewis, running back, University of Tennessee. Ozzie Newsom's on the phone, and Ozzie told me, he said, hey, what did you tell me when you came up here to visit? And I told him I would be as good or better than any back in the AFC North. Breaks two tackles, Look breaks out. another one. The rookie from Tennessee. I had to go in and give my best to the organization, and I think I did. They give it to him straight ahead. Smashed Artrell Hawkins in the mouth, took his helmet right off. Lewis cuts it up, splits the defense, look at the first. It was more the defense, they went to coach and was like, hey look, we need to run the ball. You know, this is what we have to do. Smash mouth football for the Baltimore Ravens. They're just getting manhandled right here. What more can you ask for as running back to know my number is going to get called 25 times a game. Up and over, touchdown, Ravens are in the lead. They ran them to a Super Bowl. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Super Bowl 35. The national anthem, the flyover, it, honestly, man, I, I think it brought tears to my eyes. Super Bowl 35, and here we go. We can't lose this game. Let's go finish what we started. Lewis dancing by defenders, getting a nice block downfield. Handoff goes to a slithering Jamal Lewis. The pitch out, he got a block from Gaines. He'll try for a touchdown. Baltimore Ravens are Super Bowl champions. It turned out to be a good day. Ravens suffered a big blow on Wednesday as running back Jamal Lewis suffered a torn ACL in practice and is likely lost for the entire season. A Lewis rushed for a team record 1,364 yards as a rookie. Just coming off of a big Super Bowl win, we looking to go and repeat, right? And I was just like, wow, you know, it was a bad loss, but it gave me time to sit back, rethink, regroup. You really soak in how much you really love the game. Coming back in 2002, of course, I was hungrier than I don't know what. Jamal Lewis with a big opening, breaks it outside, turns on the Jets. And just really wanted to go out and just really test the knee. The knee doesn't look like it's bothering him all. Not the a guess. That's pretty much how I approached that season. Look at him. He would never guess that he had a knee surgery. Fighting for the goal line, did he get there? Touchdown! The way you can measure a running back is how does he finish. There's eight minutes left in the fourth quarter and he's still going strong. I think I proved that I was back. Now that's the Jamal Lewis that we know from a couple years ago. I had to give him what he was paying for. Lewis, into Saints territory. You didn't know if Jamal Lewis had all his speed back. I think he knows now. 2003, our main focus while we was training that whole offseason was 2,000 yards, 2,000 yards, 2,000 yards. Get Jamal the ball! But that first game against the Steelers, I ended up having 50-something yards that game. They are yet to get Jamal Lewis going on the ground. One first down so far. Uh-oh. Did he lose the football? He did! Yeah, they're going to have to be able to trust him with the football because he's going to carry it a ton. I was highly pissed off, I can tell you that. Going through that first week, Billy can say, if I don't give Jamal the ball 30 times, then I I'm crazy. One of the players from the Browns, he said, if you get the ball 30 times, I'm gonna have 30 tackles. And I told him, I said, if I get the ball 30 times, I'm gonna have a career day. The first carry, I ended up going for like 82 yards, and we was gone. Got an opening. I'd say he's gonna get his touches. After one, he has six. Touchdown, 82 yards and everything just kept going right. Lesson number one, give it to Jamal. Lesson number two, try it again. Why not? To the 41. Jamal Lewis, again, wide open. Keep on trucking. It was just like being in a zone that entire game. I can remember going in at halftime, J.O., he goes, hey, we can go for the single game wrestling record. You already got 180 yards. And he said, well, let's go get it. A steady diet? I'd say so. Heavy on the cards. Touchdown. 63 yards. He just couldn't stop us. Officially, he needs 19 to tie, 20 to break the record. Oh, this, this could net a lot of it. Look out, record. Look out. He's one yard shy after that big run. Look at the big man get vertical. That should be enough. The crowd will be told that Jamal has given his all. A single game NFL rushing record. It was a collective effort because everybody's bought into it. And next thing you know, it was 295 yard day. 30 carries for him this afternoon. And that's the number Billick wanted.
You come off a 295-yard game, it's always how are you going to come out the next week? Is this really real? First and 10, double tight end set. Lewis emerging through a hole, shake and bake move across midfield. But to go out and go for 130-plus, that kind of lets you know, hey, look, we got something here. Banging his way for the touchdown. And that's when I kind of knew that we kind of had it going. Jamal Lewis will have a season for the ages. Going into that next week against the Chiefs, you did have Priest on the other side of the ball. He was like my mentor first coming in. But I did have to tell my defense, look, you can't let him outrush me. You know he's a good running back, so it was a battle. Good first half, and there goes Priest Holmes, and he picks up 14 yards. He had been shuttling series to series up until today. Jamal Lewis breaking free. It's Holmes on first and 10, finds again. We had to do what we had to do, and we knew we was going to run the ball. They knew we was going to run the ball. Carries him for a gain of 15. And Lewis again, finding the seam, and again, bulldozing his way up into the grasp of Wesley. So it was a battle of a ground game. First down and 10, here comes Lewis. Bulldozing his way into the grasp of Fujita. And if you don't get ahead in front of Jamal Lewis, he's going to make you look like a bunch of Cleveland Browns. It's Jamal Lewis. And he flies into the end zone for a touchdown. Week in and week out, and you know that you're going to get the ball, how do you keep it up? And it was really perfecting what we was doing. Running the ball, it just doesn't happen. Was right up the middle, big hole inside the 20 to the 19. It's a timing thing so that you can get those runs that you want later on in the game. Here comes Jamal. Stiff arms, 30, 25, 20. Jamal Lewis inside the 15. When he breaks them like that, it's nothing but a problem. Unbelievable. After that knee injury in 2001, came back and ran for over 1,300 a year ago. It was just a matter of, hey, look, can we touch the ball enough to actually go and prove ourselves? And now, Steve, the Bengals forcing uh, a long yardage play. And look at the great Jamal Lewis break it as he's all the way out across the 40. Now the handoff and running well with the ball is Jamal Lewis. And he's not done. In fact, he could go across midfield and down inside to the 40-yard line. Wow. It's second down, long 7-44. And Jamal Lewis. 19 yard line of who's number 27. Ball cuts back. It's a gain of 10. Coach Coletto used to always come to me earlier in the game and he would say, You're looking for the home run. Just be patient because it'll come. And Lewis chugging away and he's going to go in for a touchdown. A 28 yard gallop by Jamal Lewis, the NFL's number one rusher. Big play capability for Baltimore. You see, he's breaking tackles, dragging defenders. He is joining very special company with the numbers that he is putting up. Of course, he's chasing the ultimate record, wanting to top 2,000 yards rushing in a single season and going after the overall record held by Eric Dickerson. And look at his feet. They don't stop. He just keeps driving and dragging. Jamal. Touchdown! Don't you ever think that there's anybody going to bring Jamal Lewis down with one arm. That is impossible. Because we was running as eight-man fronts anyway, so it was always, hey, look, Jamal, we got these guys and you got one. Second down and long, and Jamal Lewis gets his first carry and breaks some tackles. Here comes Lewis, and he's looking for a big chunk and has a first down and more out close to the 40-yard line. Say hello to Mr. Lewis. <laughs> People are saying they really didn't want to tackle me because I had good leverage. I wouldn't want to be on the other end of that. Don't take it, go give it. Puts it in Seattle territory down to the 39-yard line. If you want to play against Jamal Lewis, you need to tackle him low by the legs. Any running back can go for the first two to three quarters. Breaks through the hole with strength and power. But some tackles, keeps going. First and goal at the sixth of all, going outside. But when the game is on the line and it's time to close it down, that's when it really counts. They're going to break down before I do. Around the end he goes and down the sideline. From the backfield, it was, hey, let's go out here and let's beat him up and make it happen. He's seeking 2,000 yards rushing this season, and he can smell it. Big yardage for Jamal Lewis. Can you keep the chains moving? Are you in good enough shape? First and goal for Baltimore on the top. Lewis, like a locomotive, touchdown. My buddy of mine that just kept talking about the numbers, and I'm like, look, I don't want to hear it. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. Catch. Lewis looking to go wide side. Turns the corner. He's got it. Touchdown, Baltimore. But you can't help but think about it. At the same time, I just wanted to prepare, man, and be ready for whatever was thrown at me. 105 to 58 in the fourth. Lewis breaks free to daylight. Touchdown. Handoff. It's Lewis. 
shot out of a cannon. Lewis over 100 yards yet again. Here's Lewis leaping in the air. They continue to ride the running game with Jamal Lewis. Going into the Cleveland game, we knew that they were going to come out talking. But after halftime, it was showtime. Hand off. Lewis breaking tackles. And Lewis with the speed, turning it on to the 30, to the 20, and cuts it back. Boom. There's one. Then yeah, boom. There's two. Here's Jamal Lewis down the sideline across midfield. Reminiscent of what we saw in week two. And next thing you know, here we go again. Jamal Lewis gets the call, and Lewis is gone. Touchdown, Ravens. I was hoping I could have broke my record that game because coach pulled me out. I wish he would have left me in for at least five more plays, but there was more at stake. Week 17 against Pittsburgh, I knew we had a lot of yards to get. 154, the number of yards that Jamal Lewis needs to set an all-time single-season NFL rushing record. That mark was established by Eric Dickerson, but Joe against that Pittsburgh defense is not going to be a picnic. You got a tough team that you got to play. This is like a rival. Stood up and knocked down. They were adamant about not letting me go and break that record. And they would just love to stuff Baltimore tonight. But we were grinding, man. We was grinding, we was grinding. It was really up to him. Lewis, high-stepping his way through the hole. 20. What better game to go into to try and make this happen? Especially after I went over 2,000. And the big guy will get the carry. What a burst. There's 2,000. Only the fifth wow. man ever with 2,000. He's now 106 away from the all-time single season record. And he will get a few more opportunities. Lewis, touchdown. Wow. He just passed O.J. Simpson and Terrell Davis, third all-time. And how good is Lewis? He's averaging almost 99 yards a game for his career. That's second only to Jim Brown. Boy, is he special. Wow. That was a good special feeling. My mom came down, never thought it would happen, but at the same time, spoke it into existence. I must say, I was ran like a train. Lewis, dragging tackler. And he is now past Barry Sanders with 2,056 yards. Then we went into overtime. I said, oh, we're really going to get it now. To pick up 43 yards. Maybe this is fate. Lewis is the deep man in the eye. All of a sudden, we'll throw a good pass. Right to throw, and it's caught by Robinson. Kick the field goal. I said, hey, it wasn't meant for me to get it. What a football game. has won the game in overtime. What a, a football game. A valiant effort by Jamal Lewis, but Eric Dickerson says 19 <laughs> years and counting. And here it is, you know, 2066. He may not get the record, but, but he is number two, and that ain't bad. He's sure special. I was happy to be part of the 2,000 yard club. But at the same time, hey, Eric Dickerson, one of the best that ever did it. Great guy, still looks like he can run the football. I'm happy to be in the same vein with him. You know when you talk about the most valuable player, I mean, you got Peyton Manning and you have a whole bunch of guys on offense. When you look at the Ravens, what do you have on offense? Hey, you know, Paul, I think you can make what it. What do you have? Well, you've got Jamal Lewis. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think, yeah, I should have won MVP. You did have Steve McNair, Peyton Manning, both great quarterbacks. I think at least one of them should have got it. Don't split it. Maybe, maybe I should have got it.